Okay, so we are doing some more integration techniques. This is part two. Let's get right to it. And so now, this one here is we want to find this integral. And the hint here, it does it factor it well. Yeah, probably it will. So it's a pretty nasty factoring one. So let's consider this. This is a t minus 3. If I factor this, let's pull out a negative sign first. So it's 4t squared minus 15t plus 9 dt. Working on this factoring thing. One of the tips I'm looking for t minus 3. So if I know that one of them is probably going to be t and 4t, and one of them is going to be 3, and this is going to be 9, and that I want that to be a minus, so this is going to be a minus. So this is negative 12, negative 3 gives me the negative 15. There's the factor. And so it's equal to t minus 3 over negative t minus 3 for t minus 3 dt. Well, those cancel, happily so. And so now I have is equal to, let's pull the negative sign out, 1 over 4t minus 3 dt. And I could do a quick u substitution here. u is equal to 4t minus 3. du is 4 oh, dt. So 1 quarter du is equal to dt. And so is equal to negative 1 quarter. 1 over u du, which is, this is the integral, this is ln. U is simply 4t minus 3 plus c. You did not have to do a u substitution here. You could have just done it by inspection and figured out the 1 quarter part. But sometimes I just don't want to think with the coefficients and the u will take care of it. So this technique is just factor and simplify first. We'll try one more. It says find constants a, b, and c such that that is true. Well, that's a hint for me. And then hence integrate. Hence means I must use the previous statement. Well, if I'm going to do this, basically what I'm doing is it's x minus 3 times an ax plus b plus c is going to equal to 2x squared minus 5. If I multiply everything by x minus 3, that's what I get. And so I know that when I multiply these first two, that's an ax squared. a's got to be 2. And then I'm going to get a minus 3ax and a plus bx. And then finally I'm going to get a minus 3b plus a c is equal to 2x squared minus 5. Well, I know that a equals 2. That's an easy one. And so now when I look at this part here, minus 3a plus b has to be the x term here, which is 0. But I know a is 2, so it's minus 6 plus b is 0, so b is equal to 6. And so I know that 2x squared minus 5 over x minus 3 is the same so far as 2x oh, plus 6. And then finally, I know this term here has to be minus 5. I know minus 3b, 3b plus c equals minus 5. Well, that's negative 18 is minus 5 plus 18, which is simply positive 13. So I know then this then is 2x plus 6 plus 13 over x minus 3. That's what I get when I work this out. Another way I could have done if you don't like this technique 
if I let's duplicate this page mm, clone the page clear the ink another technique I could have done is I could have just done my long division if you know long division plus 0x minus 5 and so this is 2x 2x squared minus 6x subtract them I get 0 plus 6x because it's 0 minus a negative 6x minus 5 multiply by 6 I get 6x minus 18 subtract them and I get plus 13 left and so when I do long division if you know it then 2x squared minus 5 over the x minus 3 it's the same as 2x plus 6 plus a 13 over x minus 3. So either method will work fine. Um, this one's quicker if you actually know long division. So now moving to b part, which I'll switch to blue for, moving to b part, it says take the integral of this. Find that. It says hence, so I have to use this scenario here which is quite convenient because I can actually use it quite well. This then is x squared plus 6x, integrating here, plus 13. Well, this is just the ln of x minus 3 plus c is the final integral for me. So we have several techniques to look about. We can rewrite or divide polynomials. We can also factor different things and cancel. We can split the fraction up in clever ways and use my u substitutions and my arc sine or arc tangent. And finally I can just purely split the fraction into two. So there's lots of different techniques. The more of these integrals that you try and attempt to work at, the, m the easier you'll start to see which technique is appropriate for which method or for which question.